Now, LinkedIn was the other thing you were interested in. And so this is one where I, I again, going to other professionals in the in the mobility realm, and yeah, it, most of the people that I would probably connect with on LinkedIn, I would potentially connect with on Facebook. Um, right. That being said, I have joined a lot of groups. Um, now, I have a problem with groups. Groups are the spam-tastic underbelly of uh, LinkedIn, it seems to me. And I feel like I, I'm following a lot of people that are more grassroots, created their own group. Right, right, right good. Right in what they're doing kind of thing, which I, I feel like I should be supporting those type of people, um, as well as... Um, but I do feel like a lot of those, a lot of that content is duplicated elsewhere. And I feel like there's not a huge need for me to grab it off there. Cause I could get the same type of content mm -hmm. from somewhere else. It's almost like when you, when you hit, when you hit nine to five Mac, um, I more called of Android, um, uh, Android central and, and and a couple other sites every day, and you see that same headline article in Google News. Right. You see that same headline article everywhere. I feel like it's just another source for those headline articles, and I want to get the content that's a little more. And I think I think it's a uh, the curation of who you follow. Yeah. For instance, it, you know, um, unfortunately, since you're already going to a lot of those sources. You don't see much different when you go on there and you look at the experts in your field. Right. I imagine for you, it's devices, technology, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're already getting your fill of that from, and they're just glomming off of that stuff. I mean, I repost, I, I don't repost a lot, that kind of stuff that goes to my Twitter account because I don't want, I want there to be a different audience here for me. And this is, again, kind of looking at the way I, what am I posting on there? How am I broadcasting on there versus what am I getting from it? Now, I notice... Now, now, I post basic ergonomics. I do a blog every week that I put to the newsletter, and it's kind of like, hey, please sign up to my newsletter, but here's the blog from it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's still content I put there and on my blog. Um, and I'm getting a lot of traction off of that. But also, I'm finding discussions on there that I'm not having with other, other places with similar people. A good friend, Doug, for instance. He's doing a lot of social media, ad-based stuff. Um, John Chamberlain, you jag off. A lot of social media discussion is happening. I'm actually, I, I've really been pleased the last couple months. Um, there's been a lot of commentary talk between the three of us, you know, and some other people popping in there, you know, some some friends of the friends of friends and, and, and such like that, that that are into this, that we don't have a deep, so, you can't have a deep social media conference, uh, uh, deep social media conversation so much on Twitter. Mm -hmm. where i do follow all these people and uh maybe john you jag off it's a he's not going to have that conversation as you jag off as much i think as john chamberlain on there okay so i think it's it's oh we're in a safe space to talk about these sorts of things in a businessy way not in a fun da -da 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 way right um now i same could be said i can have the same conversations over on google plus but i'm not connected to those people in the same way over there right and there's and that's where i I feel like Google Plus is always a fun social network to hit because you do get all those people that you don't typically follow on any other social network. Right, right, right. So, I mean, I have, I, I am on, I'm part of podcasting groups on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Google Plus, but Google Plus is by far the best two groups that I belong to. And I have gotten so much podcast, podcasters group therapy and podcast equipment experts, I think it is. Oh, well, my internet's not working over here. But uh, like the, the those the wrestling is just a generalized what the hell is going on. But when I put my stuff to those groups, I try to. Con I'm not so much grumping on everybody else's conversation, but when I put my videos and clips from Mayhem Show on there, I try to ask questions, engage with these guys, and they're talking right back to me, and and we're we're getting some really cool stuff going. So I mean, would, this would almost be like a fun conversation to have at Pod Camp, like a. <laughs> Hey, how do you do that? Or how can I get information? I miss those. Like, yeah, let's how just do we have figure these, it out on the fly? These round tables, right? <laughs> right. How are you using such and such? Right. right? Um, and I think I think we could brainstorm some stuff on this. Off, remember, off remember air, back. Right? Remember back. It was like PodCamp four or five. 
where they had the breakout room mm-hmm. and it was like mm-hmm. an impromptu room. Well, there was um, there was always a breakout room. There was sometimes the loungy lounge were like, I have a question. Can the somebody lo- please answer me? Yeah, Some experts lounge. would be there. I'd, lo- I'd love to do that again. Um, but yeah, there would always be, uh, 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 hey, um, te- somebody teach me how to use X. Yes. So you could do like somebody teach me why the heck I need to know link- LinkedIn. Right. And you do a session. Anybody from either end of the of the spectrum can come and do that. You could use it as a tool and say, hey, can somebody teach me this, please? Somebody, mm-hmm. you know, and, and do that. And it, maybe it's on the schedule or we had these fill in spots. You know, I mean, I think you know, a lot of times I think that happens in the hallway, too, now, too. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, I, I, and, and I think there's opportunities. There's there's um, like I've seen meetup groups all the time for, say, WordPress, you know, uh, WordPress beginners novice groups. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, a friend said, Hey, somebody, can we have a, a, a WordPress sit down sometime so I can figure my blog out, you know, like that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Eh, that stuff kind of, but there needs to be a resource, doesn't there? Yeah. Right. Um, man, he got me itching my brain again. When I like the, I liked the concept of the loungy lounge where you could go in and ask any question. Now we're reminiscing on yeah. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Back show in gone? The day. Where is the show gone? But no, this is, this is, this is, uh, entirely, I think within the wheelhouse here. Um, but I mean, this is where I played with it. Maybe we should do, I mean, I kind of started a social media show because that's what I end up talking about on my personal show. Um, but I'd love to have kind of a QA kind of something, mm-hmm. you know, where we can help people out. So, 